Earl's in jail. What'd you do wrong? What'd you do wrong? Oh no, you ain't getting out then. It's a life sentence. Hello, welcome back. Uh, here we are in Yuma. Today we're going to go, we're going to go tour the uh, Yuma Territorial Prison. Yeah. A facility that opened in the late 1800s and closed in the early 1900s. Yeah, they built it. The prisoners had to build this thing, so <laughs> they built it and then had to stay in it. <laughs> All right. So let's go check it out. Yeah, come along. I've read that this was the best place to cross into California. The Colorado River was the calmest here. And so a lot of people crossed right here. And right in front of us is the Colorado River. So we can kind of see it. And so if you've ever seen it uh, further north, it's, you know, intimidating, gushing, running. So I can see why this was a really calm place to cross does look a lot less intimidating here. And this is the train tracks across into California. Right there on the other side is California. So there's a, over on the hill, it's Indian Hill. You can see this mission. The original one was built in 1790, but this one is built in 1922. And so behind it is Fort Yuma protected the settlers as they crossed into California during the gold rush. So the gray bridge that's on there it was built for passengers and it was the, the first one that was built to get passengers from the Atlantic to the Pacific before they had to wait and take a ferry across and then the railroad was the first railroad bridge on the Colorado. They built it down below at first in the floodplain and then this one was built later. And they had to destroy a third of the prison just to build that one to get the trains across. Some pretty cool history there. So we're heading um, toward it. You can see the entrance up this way. So a little more history. This um, was used, the prison was used as a high school for about four years while they were building another high school. And so from 1910 to 1914, can you imagine going to a prison and it being your high school? <laughs> oh, the fun teenagers had. So that's kind of cool. And then it was the um, community center, community hospital, sorry, community hospital for a bit there until they had to demolish it to build that bridge. Look, Earl's already in jail. Anybody gonna let him out? <laughs> ah, too fun. We're entering through that little building, coming into the. They have a museum first, and then behind the museum, they have some prison cells that you can go in.
they had a women's prison that was torn down when they built the bridge. So here's some of the women that were here. You can see some of their crimes, burglary, grand larceny, felony, adultery, <laughs> stolen kids, selling liquor to Indians, <laughs> murder, manslaughter. Here's some of all the doctors that were here and some of their equipment and their pictures, the bad girls of the Old West. up on the way top. his eyebrows done though. What in the world? <laughs> There's a little bit more on the great escape here. Some of those people that tried to escape. Kind of talks a little bit about them trying to get out of here. One of the problems that they had here in the prison was rattlesnakes. So when we looked at the cemetery, several people died from rattlesnake bites. I can imagine they came here to kind of cool off and, you know, bite someone. <laughs> so here is this tool storage room. Got some of the old tools in here. It's 
pretty cool that they preserved a lot of that stuff. Look, Earl's in jail. What'd you do wrong? What'd you do wrong? Oh no, you ain't getting out then. It's life sentence. <laughs> the dark cell. You think it's really dark in there? Let's go see. This is where you don't want to get sent. This is where the bad, if you're naughty, you know. <laughs> you got sent in here. Holy moly, it's like carved out of rock inside of here. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> There's nothing to be seen. You can see the ground. It's really dark. There's a skeleton over there, but you can't really see it in this. <laughs> so here is the infirmary. Gives a little information about some of the doctors. So 112 prisoners died while they were incarcerated. Over a third of those were from tuberculosis. And typhus, scarlet fever, smallpox. So they ranged from suicide, rattlesnake bites, and attempted escape. This is part of the women's prison. Look, they have a little pot. <laughs> There's a little more nice, maybe. I don't know. They don't have those bunk beds. <laughs> yeah. This is the prison bail. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope So something really cool we just found out was so they have all these little boxes with these locks, right? And there's puzzle pieces in there. And so the kids are running around finding clues here at the prison and they take those clues to come help them unlock these boxes. And then when they get the puzzle completed, they escape the prison. So what a fun field trip for these kids. I just love that. Oh, they must have found another clue. They're running back to try it out. So fun. Completely engaging. It's the view from the guard tower shout. I'm not sure what this is like an overview pavilion. It's built on top of the old guard shack and the water supply. So you can get a really good view of the surrounding area. And the trail. So this is some of their clues they can come and find in here. Super cool. You can kind of see how it's built on top of the old water supply and the guard tower. We built the platform on top of that so you can go up and look around. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.
like how the people died and there's some funny ones in there like you know rattlesnake bite with a hit with a rock <laughs> tried to escape and was shot <laughs> kind of cool gonna go check it out check out the cemetery over here so all these little rocks are where the people are buried there's no markers there used to be put a wooden marker with their name and uh, I guess it's prison, prisoner number. But over time, they've uh, worn away, and now all these rocks represent each one of the people that are buried there. Yeah, because a lot of it happened in the early 1900s, late 1800s, so it's a really old prison. So you can kind of see what it looks like now. Someone trying to escape. Wow, we escaped prison again. <laughs> A lot of it's been redone though. Yeah, a lot of it was destroyed when they built the railroad bridge across. And finally the Yuma people said they wanted to go ahead and save what was left. So unfortunately a lot of it is missing or a lot of it's been redone. So yeah. but it was still really cool. Yeah, I get to see it and kind of learn a little bit of history about it and being right here on the river. Someone's ringing the bell right now that's in there. So you go out and find your adventure. <laughs>